Welcome to MSL Park Motors Mercedes-Benz. Today I want to show you a 2018 GLC 220 diesel AMG automatic. It's quite the mouthful. It's the range topping model. It's finished in obsidian black metallic paint. And being the AMG, say it basically has everything. Uh, one of the key features is it has the full LED headlights. They're much safer for driving at night time. You see an awful lot further. The front bumper is deeper and it's more aggressive looking. You can see the chrome that runs along the bottom of it really stands out against the black paint. Being the AMG, exterior wise, the car gets an awful lot of additional features. The alloy wheels are upgraded to a 19 inch alloy wheel. And if we look a little bit closer, you can also see the brake calipers are upgraded as well, whereas it says Mercedes Benz across them. And the front brakes, the calipers, or the, sorry, the brake discs themselves are ventilated. So it aids cooling. Along the side, you can see this car is also opted with the privacy glass. That keeps the cabin cooler in summertime. Also keeps anything left on the back seat a little bit safer, maybe. Not recommended, but just if something was forgotten, it makes it harder to see in. In the rear, there's a huge amount of space. You've got eyes of fixed points. There's three full-size seat belts. Your armrest is in place. Obviously that can flip up and out of the way. You have cup holders. If you move that up, just so you can see. So everybody in the back is really well catered for. At the rear, the AMG bodywork continues. The back bumper is different to the standard car. Again, you can see a little bit more chrome it's a little bit lower to the ground. You have your twin look exhaust in place as well. This car is a 4MATIC. What that means, it's four wheel drive. If I open the boot, you can see it's actually on a motor. So it's all very smooth in terms of its opening. Huge amount of space. To close the car, all you simply have to do push the stop button or stop start button and it looks after itself so say so it looks very aggressive with the AMG pack on it and you have your bigger wheels so it looks very very smart on the inside that sporty theme continues much needed on a day like today heated seats they've been on flat out this car is also opted with the open grain wood trim you have electric folding mirrors, so they'll fold in and out of the way. So if you're parked, it just keeps them safe. You have your full black leather interior with gray stitching. You have a lot of adjustment in the seat. If you had long legs, you can extend the bottom of the seat out for a little bit support, more support. There's four-way electric lumbar support. And the seats are also semi-electric as well. So if I move the angle in the back, just like so. Touch of a button. And you can change the height of the seat as well. So loads of flexibility there. As I mentioned, the headlights are full LED, but they're also automatic, so they'll come on and off themselves. The car is keyless start. We'll give you a demo of what that looks like. So once the key is on your person, foot on the brake, push the stop start button, and the car starts up. On the steering wheel itself, you have controls for the radio and for the onboard computer. It's fully automatic in terms of the gearbox, but if you want it, you can also choose to change gears manually up and down on the left and on the right hand side of the radio itself. This car has only 10,777 kilometers in it, so it's very low. You have cruise control. In the main central display, you have your satellite navigation. All of Ireland, the UK, Europe, everything is on there. You can search by points of interest or by destinations. When you're going to reverse, you have your parking camera. So you can see exactly where you're going to go. And there's also your visual aid for your parking sensors as well. We'll go backwards just so you can see what it looks like. You can hear the parking sensors there. 
You know exactly where the back of the car is without having to guess or wait for a bump. It's a really good feature. Obviously you have things like Bluetooth in place as well. So once your phone is paired up, all of your contacts will transfer onto there. The wood trim is carried throughout. You have your dual climate control so you can split the left and right hand side of the cabin into different temperatures. Down here, these are kind of like shortcut buttons between your navigation, your radio, your media. So a touch of one button. Huge storage area tucked away in here. And then down here, this is kind of a controller for the navigation or the radio system. There's a couple of things that you can do in addition. One is the dynamic mode. So you can actually change how the car responds depending on the road you're driving on or how you'd like to drive. So say in Sport Plus, the car would hold onto gears for longer versus if it was in economy mode, it's a little bit more lazy. It's trying to save you fuel and it's just getting there at a slower, more comfortable pace. This car is available at the moment, say 2018 with only 10,000 kilometers. So please give us a shout on 01869 and we'd be delighted to show you around and let you have a test drive. Thanks for watching.